Merry Christmas. I thought I'd do a best bits of 2023. Now, I visited a lot of canals over the past year. This channel's been running for about 18 months now, and it's kind of changed a little bit from when I was just doing sort of walking videos to now I'm kind of getting invited along to projects and, and stuff like that. So a huge thanks to all the trusts that have been very supportive of this, of this channel, and I hope these videos bring something back to you guys as well. There's been lots. It's, it's actually really hard. I'm not going to do like a countdown of what is my favourite bits because I don't think that's fair. But I've had some fantastic opportunities. So let's start with Litchfield. Litchfield, as I keep on saying, are an amazing trust. Really, really helpful. And they, they've they been brilliant at letting me know about stuff as this is happening. My, this is my favourite bit of any canal restoration this year is Darnford Moors. It's just incredible the progress they have made in such a short space of time. Nine months, I think it's been. Uh, it took them to get the canal from pretty much nothing to in water. It was it was kind of dug and roughly and stuff and some piling in, but before that, but they have been amazing. It's just, I mean, look at it. It's uh, it's beautiful to see. Now this isn't far away from being joined to the main network, and uh, so this is a great achievement by the trust. And then we go on to some other places. Uh, the Buckingham Canal was quite cool to be invited along to that. Uh, the, 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 they opened Bridge One and uh, got Diana through, which is their, their new, uh, it was a CRT dredger, which they bought. Uh, they haven't actually got much further. Uh, the, the boat got stuck as it was coming through uh, and it was uh, it was quite entertaining actually. But they had some issues, I think with the dredger, uh, they've fixed that now. So they've, I think they've started dredging now or they will be in the new year. But it was good to see a section open, connected to the network. Not open to boats yet, but the, the aim is to have it open soon. Then we've got places like uh, Cromford. Again, uh, I know KSCRG guys, uh, it's part of the Wurgies. Uh, brilliant. And they were going up there. I've been following it and trying to find out what's going on. But that is a... Really cool. So railways took over canals, a lot of places, and a lot of railways were led on, um, put down on like the old canal beds and stuff, fit backfield or whatever. And the tunnels are used and enlarged and, and all sorts. The Cromford is doing the reverse. So the Cromford is going to take the old railway sidings to divert under, under a road bridge, a busy road there, and back up and around onto the, onto the old route. Uh, and yeah, it was great. So kind of the works have started. COVID had slowed things down a little bit and uh, they had to start because of planning. So it was all a bit of an emergency thing to have the, the, the workies go up there to, to help out. But huge thanks to them for, for allowing me. And the trust have been excellent since. And I'm going to go up and do some more videos on the area, hopefully next year. Working with Paul Whitewick. Uh, he is someone who I've followed for several years. I love his videos. I love his channel. Uh, Paul and Rebecca are both lovely people and when he approached me about making videos I was absolutely oh wow I was gobsmacked I, I never thought I'd work with someone like Paul he's very professional everything he does is is excellent and his channel's going on leaps and bounds every video I'll put his link in the, in the description if you don't know him uh, so yeah we, I did a few things with him so I first met him at Westfield Lock one of my favourite bits we'll go into that in a minute and uh, I actually messaged him and I said to him, I said, this is happening. I think you could make a really good video about it. It's being restored. Why don't you come on down and, and, do, and do a video? So he came down, he made a video, really good. And then he messaged me a while after that saying, you know, I'm a bit stuck on something. We, we saw something and he was really interested in this spillware. And that was the first video I did with him. I didn't make one for my channel. It was all for him. And... Uh, yeah, it was brilliant to work with him. And then we've gone on and we've done Sapperton Tunnel. We've done the tunnels on the Lempster Canal, which was quite interesting. That that was a, an absolutely beautiful canal, Lempster. I, I mean, you're walking along overgrown canal. It's, it was abandoned. It never. It was never connected. It was never finished. So it was abandoned and, uh, and not really only sections of it were ever used. And you'd be walking along this overgrown area and then suddenly out of nowhere pops these massive huge absolutely phenomenal structures uh collapse sort of aqueducts and blown up culverts and just what a canal really is worth visiting if you're in in the Lempster area i would say the ray aqueduct for me on that whole canal was definitely the the best bit 
Uh, the team aqueduct is pretty cool. It's got a really good story to it. Uh, how it was demolished by by the but uh, in the in the war basically to to um, as it was part of a stop line. It was a training exercise. But the River Ray Aqueduct is just mind blowing, and I'm I got into the river and I walked underneath it and got some great shots, and it really is beautiful, beautiful area. And then onto the Cotswold Canals. Now I've been very lucky to have quite a lot of access to Westfield Lock, uh, more access than a lot of people would be given. I'm very thankful to the Cotswold Canal Trust, all of the all the partnership from Cotswold Canal Cows Connected, um, John Pont- Pontefract, uh, and and everyone uh, who have been great. But massively to the Wergies who have allowed me. I've volunteered a few times with them, but I've also been there a lot of times where I'm just there filming. And they've allowed me access to the lock and and all sorts. And getting into that lock, it's a huge lock, and it is massive. It took the it took the seven trays, so they were big boats. They weren't they were seagoing vessels. Um, so this thing is huge. It's absolutely massive, and it's mind blowing. Comparing it to a narrow lock, which is your more traditional sort of canal lock it's just it's unreal so it was great to have that access and great to get into it and also along that canal is it's a beautiful canal it's um it runs through stonehouse and stroud and you've got some really picturesque areas up there but back to paul uh now of the video we did on the uh on the tunnel at the sapperton tunnel um that was quite a day we took a boat uh blow up and flake we borrowed a dinghy basically and we were going to paddle in to the tunnel and have a little look um i'm a bit bigger than paul so the boat was kind of like that going through and my bottom air scagged on something sharp and the boat just went down and we, we were yeah we were left in there so i'm i i used to do a lot of caving in my thinner days and climbing and all sorts so paul wouldn't didn't really want to walk through so i was like right you and rebecca stay in their mouth keep an eye on things and keep talking to me and all that lot because you've got to be careful going into these things they're not it's not the safest thing in the world so i walked down with my cameras and his cameras i like this trying to get down and i got to the falls and that's you can see the old you can see the arch and then you've got this massive cabin above it and it was uh it was yeah really fascinating and uh, I think he made a great video and we went off exploring the uh, the shafts and stuff as well. I got stood on a wasp nest. I got stung, I can't remember how many times, like 30 odd times or something like that. Uh, and I had a bit of an interesting evening. I'm not allergic to, to, uh, to stings, but when you get stung that many times, it sends you a bit funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's talk about my local canal, the Wilson Barks. I love this canal. Uh, it's what got me interested in canals. Uh, I had no, well, I don't say I'd had no interest in canals. I've always liked the engineering side of things, but the, just a, how peaceful it was going for walks down there uh, and, and all that lot. It's just amazing. And they are as, you know, as, as good as a Litchfield canal when I say about communication. Uh, everyone talks to me, everyone tells me stuff, everyone wants me involved. I get invited to things. They had their AGM. I, I was asked to put a table up and, and do all things like that. So I've done charity walks with them and all sorts of, and a lot of my fundraising will always go towards the Wilson Barks because it's my, like, my home canal. Uh, and I really want to see it. It goes past my town. And if they have their, the developers have their way and build houses, it will join the river and uh, go literally past my house so it'd be it'd be pretty cool for me as well to have that so close to home uh but yeah uh Pusham is uh holds a special place for me and it's just great to see how this is progressing and the fantastic work uh Dave Maloney and his team have done down there and also not just the canal restoration but the whole B route Howard Yardy has done an excellent job down there promoting the environment and he's seen since he's sort of come in on board how much that kind of side of things has changed and it's great to see the canal trust thinking into you know this century thinking let's get a green and blue coral let's get uh trees everything habitat all the way through and this canal out of all of them to me probably because i see more of it is is the one that promotes that more than anybody literally would great they plant loads of trees and stuff but uh, the Wilkes and Barks have, have really have like their own thing going on to try try and restore it, and yeah, it's it's really good. It's going to be extended soon. The Pusham section and Swindon sections 
got stuff happening to it as well. So, And then we go on to the Monty. The Monty is a canal that's in several sections. So you've got the Welsh sections and they've got funding to come up to the English border. And then you've got the this section that's connected to the main network, which comes down to Crickheath Basin, which was restored. I think that was finished this year as well and, and open to water. They then need to get past Schoolhouse Bridge, Million Pound Bridge, they've built there. And I got an email inviting me up. Uh, I'd never worked with them before, never did anything on the canal before. And I got a VIP invitation. Would you like to come and document it for your channel? I would love to. Yeah, thank you very much. Go go up there. Beaver Bridges lifted this bridge in. Uh, it was fantastic watching them work. They were excellent and the guys were fantastic. And they lifted the, the, this in in sections. You had strips and they kind of, as you lifted them, they curved and uh, and they sat them down. Uh, I was there for most of the day watching it and filming it with drone up and various other cameras. I had about four cameras going at all, all times. And it was just, it was amazing to watch it. it I've never seen any sort of a project that big on a canal restoration. So um, it was, yeah, it was, it's right up there with one of my favourite things I've been to. And I love the engineering. And I love all the, like, the, the ideas to get over stuff. They couldn't get a big bridge down. They couldn't kind of put it on the back of a lorry and take it down. So they took it in sections so they could get it down the narrow lanes. So that is the best of 2023. But I'm already looking ahead. What will be the best of 2024? And that's where I need your help. I need you to tell me where you want me to go. Are you part of a canal restoration? A member of a trust? Just like walking along a certain section of the canal, you want to see some stuff on it just put comments in tell me what you want to see i've got loads of plans already where i'm going but i'd love to do a little bit more that you guys want to want to do so please do get in the comments and uh, and let me know what what you where you would like me to be but have a great christmas and a happy new year and it's been an absolute pleasure making these videos for you and thank you all for your support merry christmas <laughs>